And now, we return to our heroes as they begin the tryouts for the big hero competition. Welcome candidates. I hope you're all ready for tryouts. Our first activity will require a combination of strength, skill, endurance, and sheer willpower. Wow, what is today's first activity? Bobbing for apples. How is that going to be of any practical use? I don't understand why that's relevant. Wow, glad I spent half an hour every morning practicing this specific activity. I'm not apple bobbing. I've never done apple bobbing. What am I going to do? Baka, you're up first. Coming, Sensei Hero Man. Huh? Come here. Huh? Villain Man! <gasps> I, I'm not Villain Man. I have glasses, so Villain Man doesn't have glasses. Yeah, he does. He has different glasses. Yeah, he has different glasses. Oh, I that's the point. That's true. You can't just hide that secret identity behind glasses. I'm just someone who's going to help make things a little more fair. There was no way you could have known that today's activity was going to be apple bobbing. The fact that Baka just happened to practice it gives him an unfair advantage. Totally unfair. Well, how do you plan on making things fair? With this. An apple magnet. Did that actually work? With writers this lazy, we think so. I think about this. His name is literally Villain Man. That's a good point. The writers are really lazy. Wait, I thought you just said he is Villain Man. Duh. I'm not? I'll buy it. 3.7 seconds. I win! Excellent job, Baka. You'll be going on to the next stage of tryouts. Next up, Frog Girl. It's Frog Woman. You keep telling yourself that. And now we must leave to continue my evil plan. Are you sure you're not Ellen Man? Yes. Okay. Now go do this thing. Alright. Well, I guess I could use this. It would be making things fair. And with that, Teriyaki chose the path of dishonesty and cheating. Hey, I'm just making things fair, okay? Yes, he was truly in full denial that what he was doing was wrong. Hey, I, this is just what's called leveling the playing field. Yes, his heart truly was hardened. So much so that. What if you are just the cold hearted one? Because you don't want me to win. I'm not overreacting, you're overreacting. Oh, I see how it is. You just don't want me to win. I'm sorry, Frog Girl, but drinking all of the water out of the bucket is strictly against regulation. I'm afraid you're disqualified. Next up, Teriyaki. I have to win this. With that, Teriyaki's decision was made. What's that in your mouth? A uh, martini? I'll buy that. Ready? Set? Go! <gasps> oh, wow! wow. 0.8 seconds! Nani? <laughs> the last time anyone beat my record was when they were cheating through despicable means. Oh. But I'm sure you would never do that. Tune in next time for another exciting episode of My Saint Academia. Wait, 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 wait. Fade back in, fade back in. Wasn't this supposed to lead into the next speaker's topic, How to Understand the Bible? Oh, right. We were supposed to do that. Um, here. Read this. What? But this is huge. And how do I make sense of some of this? Some of this is really confusing. Well, if you listen to the next speaker, you'll have a good idea on how to interpret it. Oh. Later today, we'll be having the next tryout sessions. The obstacle course of fluffy bunnies and rainbows. Oh, that sounds easy. No, wait. That was last year's obstacle course. This year, we will have the obstacle course of pain, death, destruction, and probable obliteration. Ooh. Good luck! I'm sorry, Frog Girl, but according to Article 4, Section D, drinking the water out of the bucket is cause for immediate disqualification. Maybe read the rules next time. Next up, teriyaki.